Hey, what's up, guys? I am back. Before you do anything else, smack that like button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And we're about to get it on. We're going to do recovery domination. Yes, we're playing ground war. People have requested ground war. Now, I got to let you guys know I'm playing with um, a, a clan. They're called the finest ones. You'll see them when you see the names and everything. There's a link in the description. Check out their YouTube channel. And I'm playing with Mr. Wobbling. Definitely check him out. He also helps me with the Camper Nation channel and everything. So anyway, let's get into this gameplay. No, I'm not playing live. Um, let me tell you how I ran into these guys. We were playing a game. Me and Mr. Wobbling, we were just in there going casual. And we got into a lobby, and I noticed the way the guys were playing. I'm like, we're playing against a team. Even though they didn't have their clan tags up, I can tell. And so we, we did all right. They ended up stomping us the second half. The first half, we held it down. The second half... They came out and they wrecked us. They was dropping these UAV, not UAVs, the hack, the system hacks, the kind where you can't do nothing. It's like we were playing classic mode events against advanced mode. So when the game was over, I was like, I know you guys are a team. And the guy got on the mic and he was like, Saken, hey, I watch your videos. And it was really cool. I love running into people who have seen me on YouTube. They watch me on YouTube. And that's kind of what happened. So we decided to party up with them. And since it's a lot of us, we're into some ground work. Now, people have been asking me, how do you play Ground War? And I treat Ground War pretty much the same I do any mode. If you notice, I'm already back here. I'm hiding. I'm trying to get into my streaks. The only thing I don't like about Ground Mode is I tend to get a lot more lag in this mode. I don't get a lot of lag in regular mode, but with Ground, mode, ground War, it's a lot of lag. Or if not a lot of lag, when people are dropping streak after streak after streak on you, all, it's like your screen is just wobbling. I mean, it's really not that fun. And I wanted to address that. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, yeah. And look what gun I'm playing with. This is for you, Wings. Like, I've given this gun a few tries. I've actually gotten pretty decent with the gun. And, of course, you guys are going to notice in this gameplay that it's not about the gun kills with me. I stack streak upon streak upon streak. Wait till the second half of this video. You're going to see some crazy stuff with the streaks nonstop. So, anyway. So, I'm watching a lot of videos. And, of course, the biggest complaint about this game is skill-based matchmaking. And, you know, me, I kind of take the approach. You just got to adjust. Bottom line, you do get into lobbies where people are extremely sweaty. And, you know, it gets challenging. Now, the only time I find a game not so enjoyable is if you constantly get into lobbies where it's a full team versus you and randoms. That's when it can get a little... Uh, I'll stick around one or two games. If they keep breaking us, maybe I'll leave. Sometimes I stick around out of pride. I just want to see if I can beast on them. And so what happens is it ends up becoming me versus them. I know my team's not going to win, so I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can so when we come out the lobby, I can talk smack. <laughs> and that's what happens. And so I'm watching these videos of these YouTubers, and I'm not going to mention this YouTuber name, but he beasted in his gameplay. And I was looking like, this isn't real. And the reason I say it isn't real, the way he was killing people, the fact that every single person when he ran a UAV showed up on the map. I'm like, really? Uh, most people are running low profile. He happens to get into a lobby. He gets 90-something kills, but every time he threw up a UAB, it was like a, um orbital V-set. Like, you could see everybody. I'm like, man, the game would be easy if everybody showed up when you, <clears throat> when you dropped a UAB. You know, and so I'm like, <clears throat> it doesn't seem so real. So I started looking at his comments. All his subs are calling him on. This guy has hundreds of thousands of followers. His subs are like, you reverse booster. You're playing against serious noobs. They're just watching the gameplay. I think the YouTube community has wised up. They can tell now when you're doing a fake video. And I think I've gotten a lot of respect because when people come into my lobbies, they'll notice I'm not playing in weak lobbies. I play in whatever lobby the game puts me in, but as my skill level goes up, of course, it's skill-based matchmaking. So I do play with a lot of tryhards, and I do well. My KD is rising, believe it or not. When I first started the game, my KD was pretty low, like hovering around a 1. But now I'm about a 1.5. I'll probably hit a 2 KD. And that's just because when the game first came out, I wasn't playing for KD. I never really played for KD. I know some people do, but it's never been my focus. I mean, I just, I like enjoying the game. I think people have a hard time with that. Win or lose, I just like to enjoy the game. Look at this. I'm starting off on 16 and 1. I'm hiding back here. This is one of my favorite spots to count because it's a spawn point, and you prevent them from spawning here. And you can look left to right, and then you can just, when they do jump on me, look at that. They got that, um, that, that drone, the one with the guns. I don't even fear that one. If they have rockets, I will be running. But with the guns, I don't care about the guns. Now, look at this. I'm just hiding. I'm letting my UAV, UAV assist pick up. And that's the one thing about ground war. When I have the UAV assist on, it piles up so fast because so many people are getting killed. So I tend to get my streaks a lot faster. And look, I'm staying safe. Look, I can see a guy there. Look, I tried to jump up to see if I can see him. And it didn't work. Look, where he at? Where he at? Where he at? <laughs> okay, I didn't lay him down. But look at all them points I got. And so right now, I'm just chilling back here. And look at this. Where this guy go come? Nah, I know he hates this. He did all that work. He takes the guy out. He's going to come over the hill and go, night, night. <laughs> and look at that. I got my streaks. Normally, I would hold them off to the next round. But because we're playing ground war, 
and we're kind of putting it on these guys. I don't care. I'm just having fun. I'm going to drop them, and I'm going to go A to C. Look, I don't kill myself anymore. Man, that used to be a serious problem for me. Now, I could have held it off to the next round, but I really don't care. I'm just trying to go ahead and rack up these kills, see how many people I can get. And look at that. What, I got one kill? Nah, somebody had a flag jacket on. So anyway, let's Oh, look at him. Get, get down. Get down. I've gotten a little better with this gun. Now, I find with this gun, I have a hard time when I run into a lot of people. One-on-one, -on -one, I do beast with this gun. So, anyway, let's get back to the skill-based matchmaking. What did you guys think about it? I mean, it seemed like it's really turning people off. I've been watching more and more YouTubers, and they're they're even talking about it. And I'm not going to... Some are complaining. Some are whiners. Some have a legitimate complaint. And that's why I'm like, why did they do that? Now, I'm going to show you what I do coming out the second half. Like, I went, what, 19-1 and that first half, which wasn't bad. And so what I'm going to do, once the recovery part happened, you got to go to the other map. I'm going to show you how to stack. Now here, I was going to lay back here, but people always come there. This is one of my favorite spots to go to. Check this out right here. Not the, not this grass patch. Right here. If you lay in this grass patch, they can't see you. And I have on the, the thing with the scorpion where they where I don't light up so they can't see me. And look at this. So I'm putting my drone up. So when they come out, because I don't light up in their gun, they run past me all day. I do this all the time. And where's this guy at? Let's go ahead and put him to sleep. Night, night. And so, what am I doing for 2015? I'm going harder than ever. I think things have changed a little bit on my channel. I remember when I first did ghost videos, I had a few videos where I went like 13 and 0, and people actually talked about me. And the funny thing is, the whole point of the video was to show the spot. I wasn't trying to get beast to game place, but I had to step it up. Look at this, there's two drones. What do you do when you got two drones coming at you? One shooting machine gun, the other one shooting rockets. Look, we're laying them down, putting them to sleep. Look at this, this guy is right over by me. Look at my body over to the right. He doesn't even see me. Get out of here, turd. And look, I'm just laying them down. See, I can lay there the whole time and they will never know. And look at this. See, I'm laying here. Look, they don't see me. Watch this. I'll put up a system hang. Look, the guy runs right past me. And you know what? Bye bye. Bye bye. And that's what happens. I lay in this grass. See, I should have laid down again here. I made a mistake. I can see the guy over there to my left. And look, I aim on. Look, I see him on the thing. And look, I was aiming to the right and he took me out. But it's okay. We're up 118 and 79. That happens. I can't even drop my bomb and run. Too many of us are dropping bomb and runs. So anyway, let's go back to the point I was making. Before, I would show you spots, but it got to a point where people start calling me out. Like, why are you using those low score streaks? So I had to up my score streaks. Initially, when I did this channel, I wanted to really, ah, they laid me down. I wanted to show just the regular person how to have a decent game. But it's gotten to the point where they called me out. It made me step on my game, but I think it actually helped everybody. <laughs> because I stepped on my game, and, you know, everybody else is stepping up their game. It's like, oh, look at this guy. He's laying there, you turd. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. You know, he did the same trick I did. He's landing grass. I can't be mad at him. You know, when people do stuff like that, I don't get mad. And speaking of that, let me bring up a point. So I was live streaming. Oh, look, I lay it down. Lay it, lay, it, lay it down. So I was live streaming, and a guy came in my live stream, and he said, you ruined the game. And so, you know, of course, I call him out on it. The turrets say I ruined the game. So my thing is, how do I ruin the game? His first comment was, have you ever been on a 20-kill streak? You're trying to get a chem strike or a DNA and then someone from across the map shoot you and end your streak. I looked at him. I was like, shut up. I was like, that's the dumbest argument. So here, let me make this point clear. You want to be able to dominate people. You want to rush, get these huge games, drop DNA bombs and chem strikes on people. And then you complain because they stop you. I was like, do you think they're having fun if you're doing that? Think about it in reverse. Imagine this. You're doing this to these people. You're dropping these huge score streaks on them. You're dropping DNA bombs. You're having fun. But do you think they're having fun? So just because the camper ended your streak, and look at this. This is where it's all going up again. Look at this. Oh, look at this. I get back here, and look, they're, they're right next to me. You know what? Lay it down. And look, the action is hot. And this is where all the people, oh, look, he didn't see me, turd. Is that a fake video? <laughs> look at this. Where you at, though? Where you at, though? And look, this is what happens. The actions gets packed. And what I do is I come over here in this patch of grass. I tend to lay down here, and this is where I tend to drop my streaks. Now, at this point, watch. I'm just going to run streaks back to back to back. Look, I got my, um, oh, look at this. They don't even see me. They're right there. You know what? Oh, look, I'm being careful. I had to make sure I got both of them. I didn't want to lay one down and have the other one so that they can take me out. And look at this. All my streaks are back up. It's to the point now where I'm not even trying to stack them. I'm just dropping them because they're coming so fast. And that's what happens. A lot of people don't realize I don't need a gun to kill you. All I need is streaks. And that's what I mean by playing smarter. Like, you got people with great gun skills. Congratulations. You got great gun skills. Well, I got great thinking skills. I play the game. I figure out the routes. I figure out what's most effective and I go with it. And I definitely got to thank Wings of Redemption for uh, hipping me on this setup. Because I was going with the Paladin and I was trying other stuff. I was thinking I was going to rebirth the Night Night machine on here. And instead I got the Night Night Junior. Look at this guy trying to camp. You know what? Wait for it to reload and go to bed. Night Night. Turd. 
Ah, <laughs> where's this guy at? Oh, lay it down. Oh, I didn't even get the kill. End up getting an assist. But look, you can hear my streak stacking up. That's the funny thing. While I'm in here, I hear system hack, bomb and run. I hear everything coming. Oh, look at this. Oh, he took my body out, he turd. He turd. Look at that. I was doing well. I should have probably guarded C. Now, if I wanted a flawless half, I probably could have did that. But it's okay. Look, they put me in my other spot. We're up 171 to 117. Now, these are the kind of games I don't like to be in when I'm on the other team. Imagine you're in this game and these people are dropping stuff on you nonstop. I think that's the biggest challenge. Skill-based matchmaking, but even it out. I think they should have a mode where if you're three to four players, you only get in lobbies with other clans. Like, like make it even. Make them so that they're teaming up against other um, teams. Let randoms play randoms. Let teams play teams. I think that would be fair. That's my honest opinion. But like I said, this is over. Look at that. We beat him 178 to 124 the second half. I draw, I was stacking it on him. And let's see how I finished. I think I finished 40, 47 to 5. All right, y'all. Let's go. <laughs>